Okay, American Amy here. I've been meaning to go over this video for the last few days. This is about the complaint that SJD News put in about when the trooper wouldn't help the child that was shot. So let's go over this real quick. Hey, Captain, it's Scott Jacobs. I don't know what's going on there. It's kind of weird. Yeah, that is strange. I, I call and it just rings and rings and rings. But uh, yeah, I it's mean, all right. We finally connected. So <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, my friends call me every day and I receive voicemails and things like that. So it's, it's very bizarre. But it, it is kind of bizarre. This guy couldn't get a hold of him, but I talked to this man a lot on the phone. He has a lot of other friends he talks to on the phone. But... I don't know. Shit happens sometimes, so we're not gonna knock the guy for that. But let's continue. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm glad. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. How can I help you? So I'm calling about the complaint that you filed with our department against Trooper Zach Morgan, and um, I just wanted to know if you just have a minute to talk. Um, I've been assigned to investigate the incident, and as part of that process, obviously we like to contact the complainant, right? So, um, if you have a few minutes, I just have a couple of questions for you. All right, we'll see what your questions are. Okay, yeah, th it should... I like that. He didn't say, okay, I'll answer your questions. He said, let's see what your questions are. Very smart brief i mean in reading your complaint um it was very detailed as far as you expressing all your concerns but i just wanted to ask a couple of questions sure first thing is is since you submitted it to us is there anything that you would like to add or change um in regards to what you you, you know there is there is one thing and i can't remember if i put it in the complaint or not is that um when I returned to to this trooper there was a three-year-old victim of the shooting standing beside me as he drove away from from me uh -huh. yeah I, I watched uh, his body worn camera I watched your video of course and it seemed like that three-year-old uh, uh, there was in my perspective everybody involved really didn't know where the child came from I can hear that's a lie they might not have knew who the child was or who her parents were. They knew that child came out of that car. Okay? Thank God that child wasn't shot. That car, child was still in the car or right near the car when they got there. So, and regardless, if he didn't know who the kid is, you know, they were telling him. And you're just going to ride off and leave a three-year-old kid even if she wasn't involved in that. She's by herself. Come on now. On the video, like, where did the child come from? Where did this kid come from? And then I think everybody puts two and two together that he was a victim. And, and it's she. Like yeah, so, I mean, we, we went to the car. There was a th there was the three-year-old child that was in the, still in the back seat uh, okay. with, with JC on. And um, on, on, on Tempe Against Police Violence, he was there prior to me. And you can actually hear her scream, you know, crying, can someone please help me? Um, yeah. So there were additional bystanders. In fact, he, he, he texted me this morning to ask how I'm doing. I uh, haven't received any text. Yeah, plenty of bystanders. And the guy he's fixing to refer to, I believe, is the man that first, like, kind of removed the child out of the car because somebody had told him to remove her out of one of the bystanders. I'm not sure who it was that get the kid out of the car. Because she didn't need to be in there with that. And um, they did move her out. And I think it was this guy that moved her out. And a lot of people thought he was the father at first. But he wasn't. He too was just a bystander. And a concerned citizen. From any officer from your department to ask me how I'm doing. Uh, and there were three cop watchers that went to the funeral. I didn't see any cops at the funeral. No surprise there. Um, um, but uh, two bystanders uh, were on scene there. And uh, the gentleman, uh, Tempe... You're breaking out a little bit. Two uh, bystanders, what? Yeah, two bystanders were on the scene 
uh, that came there from their vehicles. And um, uh, we, we, you know, Tempe requested, can we take the little girl out of the car? We still didn't know what was going on, whether there was still danger. Um, this, little, this little girl had blood from her brother on her clothing. We took her, uh, uh, um, uh, Miguel, or Mike, uh, carried her over to the sidewalk because basically Tempe said, please take her to the other car. He was referring to the vehicle who had been pulled over by Trooper Morgan um, for, for her child's safety. So uh, at the time, uh, my, I, see, I didn't, again, I didn't know, you're right, we didn't know exactly what was going on. That's why we were calling for the trooper to investigate. That's what you guys do. Um, and uh, I thought that the female was potentially the mother and that the, the gentleman, uh, Mike, was the father. And then uh, actually the people that were pulled over asked, whose little girl is that? And I said, it's, uh, I pointed to Mike thinking that that Mike was the father and he because he had just stepped away he was in shock he you know he had his hand to his forehead like oh my god I can't believe you know kind of you know thinking that this was his child in the back seat dying there uh, I'm thinking that he's just in shock you know so I even though it wasn't his child and he didn't know these children he was emotional and who wouldn't be in a situation like that unless you're just cold-hearted Stand next uh, the little girl standing next to me somebody says whose child is that I said it's his child and he said no that's not my child so clearly from from the research that's done by by Tempe police there were no parents there it was all all children in that vehicle yeah so just to back up a little bit your point that you wanted to the, make is that the point is again uh, not only did he neglect the scene he also neglected and, and left a three-year-old child standing on the sidewalk. As he went to go to the black car in the intersection? Yep, as he finally went to go to the black car in the intersection. Okay. All right. Next question, sorry. Um, yep, no worries. Um, did you see Trooper Morgan use his police radio to call for help? How do I know that he was calling for help? I saw him, I saw him, when I told him to call for help, I saw him do something on, on his radio. Whether he was calling for help or not, I don't know. But, the, okay. and, but I don't think that was immediately. And, and uh, I really don't. I'd have to watch the video again. And even when he did call, um, and by the time he drove his motorcycle over there, it was like four and a half minutes later. I'm not sure about that, but he sure was taking his precious time. And I tell you what, a ticket's not near as, as important, but he was so far through writing that ticket that it could have been sent in the mail. It was almost complete. Do you know at what point you saw him on his portable radio? It was after going to the vehicle and seeing the child in the back seat dying and then returning to him. when the car first entered the intersection and you started to advise Trooper Morgan that, hey, there's something going on in the intersection. Did you ever, did you ever hear him, or not hear him, did you ever observe him using his police radio? No. 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 Okay. And, oh, did I lose you? No. Okay. I'm right here. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep, yep, I got you. Uh, and then... Yeah, I, I'm just reading your complaint real quick. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify that. If you, um, at what point did you observe him using the police radio? And that you clarified that for me, so I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, let me ask you, how would you like to see this result? So look, Cap. The goal, the goal of what what, what would you I want my to happen here? well, he needs to be fired. That's what I want to see happen. But my end goal, the reason why I do what I do, is I want to get rid of the, enough bad cops so that the good cops can start joining in the fight and helping to get rid of the bad cops. Now, 
my my expectation of what's going to happen here is you guys will investigate yourselves and find out that you've done nothing wrong uh, is which which is what always happens there's a five-year-old that died here right and so you broke out a little bit you know, this guy wasn't even you know concerned enough to call or to try to go see he told them to go handle it themselves Uh, how I would like to see it resolve is that he he gets fired. Okay. There's no question about that. That's a derelict of okay. duty. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I only had those two or three questions because your your complaints are very very detailed. So uh, thank you. We're able. To yeah, and it sounds like SJD being very detailed in his paperwork. He spends a lot of time on stuff like that, and that's what takes time is, is the record request and the motions and and all that stuff. That's what takes so much time. And then if you're going to write something out like a complaint or something like that, it's going to take forever. But people like SJD and others that have done it before, a lot of them have like a template. That they've, that they've saved from when they've done it, and a lot of them will share it with you, and then you just change their words to, you know, fit your situation. Get uh, a lot of information just from the complaint itself. Well, let Good. me know that um, you will be receiving some type of correspondence from the department when uh, the investigation is complete. It will come from... Uh, our internal affairs unit. Yeah. And they'll, uh, once everything's done, they will send you something. Um, I don't know exactly um, how they phrase it, but uh, you'll, you'll receive something. So if you get a hold of me again, or you can contact the captain or yeah. the commander that runs the internal affairs unit, okay? Yeah, okay. It sounds good. Like I said, I don't know if I broke up or not, but my goal here is to get rid of bad cops and, and, and promote more good cops. Amen. All right, Captain, I do I appreciate you that we, we were finally able to get together. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to work with the good cops, uh, you know. So if there's anything that I can do or anything that I can help to, to, to improve the situation uh, between cops and, and citizens, uh, I'm wide open to it, okay? Okay, sir. All right. Thank you again. Yep, you bet. Have a good one. Bye-bye. I always wanted to bridge that gap. Okay, well, my name is America Amy, and that was SJD's phone call from the investigating officer of the complaint about the AC case. If you're not familiar with that case, the videos are everywhere. They're on SJD's channel, Tempe Against Police Violence. I don't know who else, but you'll find them. Look on SJD's channel. You'll find it there, and it'll lead you to the other versions, too. Okay, well, my name is American Amy, and thanks for watching this video review with me. And if you have a video that you would like for me to react to, please email it to me, the link to it. And also, if you're coming up against the goal, like I know Girl with a Hammer is about to hit 1,000, and you want me to give you your... Um, wake up call surprise so subscriber wake up call just let me know and we'll get it hooked up all right my name is american amy y'all have a wonderful day i'll catch you on the next one thanks